uh, and you could give uh, the specialist, you know, full con full control. So you, you could give give a lot of more uh, authority into it. Now we're out of the engineering environment, and we're looking at it in runtime. You can see there's an, an additional column now on it. So this column right here is showing us the actual runtime value. The value is being read back from the controller right now. So just step over here for just a second. Uh, with the matrix, I'll just leave this open. I can show you what a trip condition looks like on, on the system. So typically, your matrix is engineered so that it looks clean and white, like we're looking at right there. Not very interesting from an operator standpoint, which is the way that you want your plant to always be. I'll call it the trip condition right now on nice the level transmitter. So I just went and opened up. Uh, I caused a condition where we had an overflow condition that was getting ready to occur within our reactor. And that was red. read by our safety matrix. And nice it went back to, yeah, there's a lot happened. I just let go of, of the, the level switch. But let me just hold it here for, for, for just one, one second. Here, we'll get it back to the normal state. When a cause becomes active, it's indicated as a red color in, 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 in the matrix. And that, this is the cause that we just tripped. It's a level sensor that came in. It met the so trip we condition. Violated of, that rule. We violated that rule. So this